All right. Um, so what we have here is the merge request um, related to the resolution uh, alert uh, dismissal. So persisting uh, the resolution alert dismissal. Um, so basically in the current implementation, um, when the user dismisses um, this this alert here on top, uh, it's not persisted. So it's just uh, a toggle in the code. Um, and then whenever the page is refreshed, uh, this alert reappears. Um, so these changes are regarding the uh, persisting the dismissal. And now if I go ahead and click on this and then refresh the page, it should not reappear. Exactly. And if I go back, um, and then pick another one. So for instance, this one. You will see that the vulnerability, uh, the, the alert is still here. So we can just dismiss this and this should not reappear uh, neither. Okay, so the, the way it works, uh, I, I store a cookie. Um, so here you, you will see the, the um, the cookie uh, it's basically an array of IDs that are that are dismissed um, I considered using the user callout um, helper function um, so basically it persists this in the database um, but then the problem with that one is uh, that for each vulnerability we would have to create a new record, record in the table. So it, it's not a really viable solution for, for this use case. That's why I use cookies. And uh, and also one um, one thing about why not using local storage. Um, so if we use local storage, this list might get bigger uh, and we will need to keep track of, of, of uh, the local storage item and then um, expire it every X months. So using cookies, I thought it was just uh, simpler because we can just set the, the expire date, for instance, for nine, 90 days and then it will automatically uh, expire. Um, yeah. So I guess that's it. Thank you for watching.